a model that's been around since the days of Metarot Duel on the 3DS and made his place in every roster since solid. It is PEN02M Teppen with a kit of Anti-C, Breeze, Shoot Guard, Sea Legs, and the leg ability of Snow Type, which grants S rank on snowy terrain in addition to the leg standard matches. Now, as a model that's available in the permanent banner, Teppen is an absolute must-have model to every rookie starting out, and that's very easily attained because he's just as easily collected, whether that be as a full set on a lucky pull or even as mixed parts in, fair in multiple pulls prior. But, as also as a mixed-range fighter with a shooting, a melee, and a defense skill in his kit, while making, hit, while making use of his kit will be rather tricky, in the right hands he can be majorly catastrophic or incredibly defensive based on the team. Anti-C is a shooting based part that, one, that has a rather unique kind of condition to it. And that is a condition that if attacking an enemy with a C leg, the, the damage you will deal will tremendously increase multiple fold and make the hit absolutely crippling once that torpedo lands. Of course, in every other situation though, Anti-C will deal relatively moderate to minimal damage since it is a very niche part as mentioned. Freeze on the right arm is an ailment based skill that once afflicted on the target will stop them cold in their tracks, pun intended, guaranteeing that every hit that will absolutely land and every hit that lands will be a critical hit on top of that. This is not only very good for stalling that particularly dangerous foe on the enemy side, but this also is incredibly useful as well for stalling someone that you might want to buy some time for or guarantee the hit is going to be painful on. So this is a very good setup skill to make use of to have a nuker come behind Teppen and finish the job. Shoot Guard on the left arm is a defense based skill that once placed on the line, Teppen, while he will intercept any and all incoming blows like regular shields, he will specifically nullify any and all shooting based attacks. Now. This is not discriminatory to, say, gunpowder-based skills, or hyperbeam, or missile, or press, or break. No, if it is a shooting attack of any kind with a shooting skill symbol on it, it will be nullified at zero damage. This makes it an incredible skill to make use of not just in early on, but even in late game too, to, to kind of buy yourself some time against someone with a very dangerous shooting skill in their arsenal. Now granted, even though AI in more recent patches have gotten just a little bit smarter about sta about spamming Metaforce if you decide to use this, even in PvP this can be a very solid skill to make use of and very flexible to fit pretty much anywhere across the board. Sea Legs means that Teppen will have relatively decent coverage across most terrains, arguably one of the third best under Multiped and Biped in that particular order from least to best, but it still does mean that he will have some very solid stats in his favor. Plus, the snow type leg ability is even just another feather in its cap to kind of make these legs one of the better ones to go for. In the armor department, his armor is a little scattered across the board, but still moderately healthy as you'd expect of him to be, with a head HP of about 3400, a right arm of about 2850, a shield arm, the, the left arm at about 3100, and the legs at 4100. Relatively mixed pull there, just a little squishy there on that right arm, but otherwise not too shabby across the board. His leg stats aren't too bad either, and even though they can only support one heavy part and a mobility of 633, even though this is somewhat par for the course when it comes to sea legs, his resist stats at 1075 for his melee resist and his shoot resist at 1015 are very nicely and well balanced, which means you can use this leg up close and personal or even from afar, and he can hold his own with relatively equal performance across the board, which is very nice to keep in mind. Plus, being a sea leg also means that Teppen will have very so a very high base evade at about 1577, just shy of 1600 there, so he will have a pretty good shot as, as well at dodging or grazing a lot of low or even mid-success attacks across the board. All this being said, as a pure set score, I still do have to rate Teppen a very solid 6.5 out of 10, and some arguments might even possibly be made for a 7 or a 7.5 in some cases. Despite the fact that he has three different skills present in his kit, as a pure set, you can still use it moderately well and not have one part or the other really hinder another's performance, which actually is pretty good. Even if Anti-C may be particularly niche in some spots, 
Brace and Shoot Guard are going to be the huge go-to and MVP parts on Tepid. As mixed parts, very easily I have to rate it 7.5 out of 10, because even though Anti-C, like I mentioned, may not be the most used part on Tepin, Breeze and Shoot Guard are definitely going to be the big go-tos, and Sea Legs with Snow Type are going to be a very, very big selling point for Tepin as well, as this does mean that it will give him an extra terrain to be good on. Especially worth noting too, that Snowy Terrain in particular, no one has Mastery on, so any legs that have Snow Type instantly make them notably better and give them a much higher overall score and viability, especially when Super Invasions or PvP are considered. 